My name is uh, Virgil Bertin Basseurdasso. Uh, we are here in my restaurant in, uh, in Ghent called Souvenirs. So we moved here in 2017, amongst others with the uh, help of financing from PFV. And we are going to make a, a small, simple Christmas uh, cookie that's uh, originally from Scandinavia. It's a big part of Christmas traditions where I'm from in Iceland. It's called a Sara Bernard. It's actually a meringue based cookie with a coffee filling, which was made originally in Copenhagen to uh, honor uh, a ballerina. I hope you uh, find something to do there with this recipe over the holidays to create a nice ambiance with uh, your family and close ones. And I wish you a happy holidays. So we're gonna start by making uh, the cake. So we have here in the bowl, just a little mixture of egg whites and uh, sugar. We're gonna whip that up. We just uh, gently put in the mixture of uh, almonds and icing sugar. Now the difference between this and for instance a more traditional macaron is that it's way more egg whites in, uh, in the, the macaron. So this is a quite a dense uh, cake. Now we're gonna transfer the meringue based bake to a piping bag and we're gonna shape the cookies. Now the cake has been molded up on the tray for us. We're gonna bake them in the oven. In the meanwhile, we're gonna transition and continue with our buttercream. We start off with egg yolks. We whip them up to build them to a ruban stage, it's called. And in the meanwhile, we're cooking up a sugar syrup to cook the egg yolks eh, and to make a butter bomb. Once the butter bomb has been prepared and it's nicely starting to aerate, you can start thinking about adding the butter. Personally, I'm a big whiskey lover, so uh, I'm gonna throw some whiskey in there. Now we've gotten the cream to the point where uh, it's cooled down. It's really important. So now our uh, cookie is baked. Let them cool down a little bit. Next step for us is really about uh, putting the cream on, the, the coffee uh, whiskey cream. If we're open over Christmas and New Year's, we always make this because it's, uh, you can't have Christmas without this cookie, in my mind. It's like, uh, and since I don't get the snow always here in Belgium, which is another thing which is kind of important for me. At least I have Sara Bernets, so, you know, it's something. It's not snow, but it's something. Then it's really important that you let the cookies cool down a little bit extra in the fridge for five or 10 minutes before you cover them with chocolate. And it's best to be very timely in uh, starting to melt your chocolate. Now, the chocolate is all melted here. I'm always uh, kind of grateful for these quiet uh, jobs that just take its time and you can't really rush them or hurry them up. It gives me a lot of time to reflect and uh, enjoy the moment. Being a chef, it's a job of passion. You have to love it. I always, I always talk about chefs, you have to be a hopeless romantic because if you wouldn't be a hopeless romantic, you wouldn't be doing this. You would, you would wake up one day and you'd just say to yourself, why am I doing this? And you would probably go do something more sensible. But it's, uh, it's very rewarding and something I'm very proud of.